Hello guys, good day to everybody. So we are group to biotechnology subjects in our one need to be executed. So we are the starting point group. Na kung saan napunta sa amin starting point and to start with, I'm Vinny Luciano Jr. I'm Precious Henry Ibutar. No, I'm Marie Benjeva Dibieso. Ako nga po para si Mark Jason Roldan. And we are all from Visa 4B. So... Before we start our formal discussions, may I want to give you a short thoughts about our point of view regarding this report. Una-una sa lahat, dadako tayo sa objectives. Ang, objective, ang objectives namin ay to know what is the starting point. Second is to know what is the issues and controversies that faces a starting point. And the third one is to discuss on what sense it's affected to the society. So, yung tatlo na yun is matatakal namin yung kabuang aming report. Para magspanimula sa aming discussion, What is a starling corn? A starling corn, recall, occurred in the autumn of 2000 when over 300 food products were found to contain a genetically modified corn that had not been approved for human consumption. It was the first ever recall of genetically modified food. Humans and animals have consumed corn for centuries. Corn is, is one of world's most eaten foods. It is no wonder that Adventist crop science genetically modified corn to be resistant to pests. Adventist scientists incorporated Cry 9C, a protein isolated from a common soil bacteria, Basilicus truncinensis BTS pictol word, into a starling corn. The Cry 9C protein is effective against caterpillars because it binds to different sites of the insect gut and destroys the stomach cells. This protein has no effect on other living creatures. Starling corn was approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, for animal feed but not for human food until additional testing was complete. So, madaling salita, taong 2000 kasi yung starling corn ay isa para na. So, through the um, EPA, which is Environmental Protection Agency from United States, inaprubahan nila na ang sting, uh, starling corn is for an only animal consumption. But it turns out kasi na after ng starling corn, I do not occur si BT corn. Ano po bang pinagaiba ni starling corn kay BT corn? BT corn is focuses on the Asian corn border that will be affected, that are affected rather, here in Asians, Southeast Asians, or Middle Asians, or whatsoever. At ito naman si starling corn kasi, ito ay ginagamit, gagamitin for only in um, animal consumptions. Kasi nga, sa paggawa ng feeds, at sa mga paggawa ng feeds, alam nila to. But it turns out, the controversies and issues ay mag discuss ni Raven, at dahil doon, ito ay kung paano ba makaka ni Starling Corn sa pagbabago sa pananaw ng tao sa biotechnology. So, dadako po tayo sa the issues and controversies. Uh, the controversy began when traces of DNA from Starling Corn can, uh, were found in taco shells and other corn-related products. Uh, nagsimula po yung controversy nang makita po sila ng traces ng DNA ng uh, Starling Corn sa mga taco shells and corn-related products katulad ng mga cornstarch ganon. Then, although there are several varieties of BT corn in the market, starting uh, was illegal in human food consumption. Ayun po yung sinasabi kanina ni uh, Binigno na yung uh, starting corn po is uh, for uh, animal consumption, consumption lang. It was only approved from animal feed. The EPA Scientific Advisory Panel considered the protein Cry9C a medium risk a potential human allergen. Uh, this decision was based on a limited data. The protein was slow to digest, 
suggesting a possible uh, concern. However, the protein amino acid sequence was not like known. Allergen, therefore, the likelihood and allergenicity is low. Sabi sabi po dito na may mga pag-aaral po na may allergic reaction daw po uh, yung uh, starling corn sa tao dahil po sa carnine C protein na hindi po siya gaano uh, nadadigest ng uh, bituka natin. Furthermore, for people to become allergic to a protein, they need to be exposed to it multiple times over an extended period. Since the carnine C protein is only a small fraction of corn protein, the probability that the protein would sensitize an individual is low. Then ayun na nga guys, in-explain ni Raven yung sa issues and controversy at mainam naman doon na in-indicate talaga kung ano ba ang nangyari since then nang naitatags ng Aventis Corporation o yung mga scientists natin yung starling corn. Then it happened kasi talagang naihalo o hindi sinasabing sinadya or hindi sinadya. Meaning, naihalo yun sa mga core product at yung mga core product ay gina na ginagamit sa iba pang mga um, pagkain ay meron din in na trace. And it happened that Ren and C proteins had a great um, portions in this matter. Kasi nga hindi naman daw natin gaano o hindi natin kaya na madigest agad-agad yung Ren C protein. Kaya hindi siya po pwede sa animal, ay sa human consumption. Only the animal consumption itself. So, dito po tayo. Next po tayo. So, dito po sa patugtong po ng sinabi ni Raven. So, the FDA received approximately 34 reports of adverse reaction to corn products that may contain starling. Dun po sa 34 reports, 20 were unlikely to, re to result from an allergenic reaction. The U.S. Center investigated seven people who experienced symptoms that are consistent with an allergenic reaction. The people showed no reaction to the cry 9 c protein. This does not mean people could not develop an allergenic reaction in the future. So, ang sinasabi po dito, na yung FDA po ay nakareceive po ng 34 reports kung po sa mga adverse reaction to call po sa mga corn product na, may, na naglalaman na starting. So, sa 34 report po na yun, Yung 20 po doon, yung 20 po doon ay nagkaroon, na, nagkaroon ng result ng allergenic reaction. So po, yung US Center po ay nag-investigate ng 7 people na naka-experience ng allergenic reaction. So yung mga tao po na yun ay hindi po nakapag, nakapagpakita ng mga reaction na... So yung mga tao po na yun showed no reaction to the prionine C protein. So... Hindi ibig sabihin na yung mga tao na yan na hindi makakapag-develop ng allergenic reaction sa future. At sa panghuling um, paksa ng kabu ang aming report, una na itakal na so what is the starling corn, ikalawa the issues and controversy, at with additional with this, Aventi submitted a new evaluation of corn to the EPA and requested temporary approval for human consumption. So, ang sinasabi dito, nag-try naman ng panibagong evaluation daw si Aventis <coughs> sa Environmental Protection Agency. The new information demonstrated that consuming corn-based foods containing starting food exposed consumers to cry 9C, many times smaller than needed to cause sensitivity. Subsequently, Aventis um, voluntarily withdraw registration for starling corn. It will no longer be drawn. So, ibig sabihin, dapat di ba nag-submit sila ng new uh, evaluation. But it turns out na winidraw din nila ito ng, uh, ng Aventis con con um, Corporations sa EPA. Kaya nang sa ganun ay sabi nila it will no long, uh, longer be drawn. But it turns out kasi... Uh, based on my experience kasi, this kind of corn, sterling corn, na ini-import na Pilipinas, na dinadala sa mga factory natin, for example, na CPF, CFA, uh, C... CPF ba yun? CPF Tarlac, um, Paniki Tarlac, and it happened na nakita ko to at tinanong ko nga, kasi may mga agriculture din doon, at ang sinabi nila ay, yun ay only for animal 
consumption. So yun yung yun kasi yung paggawaan ng feeds ng mga hayop at higit sa lahat ay itinanong ko syempre. Kasi usi sa ako noon teh. Ano? <laughs> Charot. But anyways, as a result of this ex- episode, the Adventist company and others in the biotechnology industry will seek approvals for both human and animal consumption before marketing genetica- um, genetically enhanced seeds. At dahil dito nga sa nangyaring pilat ng starling corn ng Adventist, ay mawapasin natin, ang pinaka-affected in today's society nowadays is hindi siya gaano pang tinatanggap. Siguro it raised in 70 to 80% lang ng kabuang population ng farmers at mga nagtatanim at tumatakilig ng BP or Basilgo Strangenesis or GMO din, Genified Modified Organisms sa mga halaman. Na kung saan, isa ito siguro sa mga naging sanhi because BT corn is exposed and um, raised in about 2010 to 2013. Kaya binarapat ng mismong biotechnology industry na kung saan ay dapat ang mag-produce nila ay hindi lamang pang human consumptions and animal consumption itself but they are both that before marketing genetically enhanced seeds. So meaning to say until now and the conclusions occur at naniniwala na si starting corn ay naging mahalagang parte para sa gano is makapag ng ating in, uh, biotechnology industry na mag-come up ng gantong resolution or ng gantong standard form. With that, I'm Benigno Vizriano Jr. and I'm from Visa 4B. And once again, maraming salamat.